Hey guys, Sushi Stew back on here today. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to install a new emulator for your playbook. This one is going to be the Nintendo emulator, as you can see here. So, very basic version 10016. I'll quickly go over the the buttons right now. You can see the pad, the two buttons, start and select. Now there's hidden buttons. And you can move them around. This one is to change your game. So if I want to go to the next game that I have in there, tap. A, B, start. So as you can see it does work fine. Not all the ROMs work most likely, but you can test out lots of them. So to, to start the tutorial, we're going to go into development mode on our playbook. You can see mine's already on. If you haven't done this before, it's in security. Turn it on. You're going to input a password for the first time and when you plug it into USB which mine already is up here um, you're going to input the password as well on the PC so to install the emulator you need to download the DDPB installer unless you already have it you need to download the emulator it's in bar file and you need ROMs which I'll provide links for all three. So, you're in development mode. Your playbook is plugged into PC. You're connected. Now you've downloaded all the files. Next step is to open DDPB installer. So open that up on your PC. Run as administrator, unless you already have administrator rights. When it shows up, you're going to have a little window. I'll show it to you. Just going to move my camera. So DDPB installer. I'll let the camera focus here. To start off, you're going to select scan. And it chooses the same ad IP address that's on your playbook in development mode. You're going to choose the password that you chose and connect. Mine sometimes takes a while to connect. Hopefully yours won't. And wait and wait and wait. <coughs> there we go. Once we're connected you want to go to add. You're going to find the bar file that you are installing. FCEUXPB and the latest one is 10016, which I'll provide. Select Open. As you can see, it's in my list. You may not have a list unless you've already added stuff with DDPB installer. So you're going to check mark and then select Install. There we go. When it's finished, it'll tell you here that it's OK. 
and then you can select cancel. So we'll wait for that to finish. There we go. So we hit cancel and exit. Now we're done with installing the emulator. Now you've downloaded ROMs, I hope. We're going to go to our playbook files. Okay, and you see we have a miscellaneous file on the root of the playbook. So we're going to open that. And we're going to create a ROMs file. Just like I have here, ROMs. Inside that, we're going to create NES file. Inside the NES, you can add all your NES ROMs. As you can see, I have 11, just like it shows on my playbook. So install them here. Once the NES emulator is installed, you'll end up with this file. You can have your save games here, your snapshots here, etc. There is a way to change the controls, but I haven't got into that far. So once you have your ROMs, your emulator installed, go back to your playbook. And there it is. I'm going to go to the icon, you should have it there, and start up. And if it crashes the first time, restart your playbook and try again. If it crashes again, then most likely you have the ROMs in the wrong spot. So double check and you should be good to go. So there you are. NES emulator on the Blackberry playbook. Enjoy guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.